best game I saw all weekend. It was actually here in Baton Rouge on the bluff. Southern hadn't beaten all courts since 2016, just for the half. Southern leads by a touchdown, and well, it felt like the Braves were coming back, right? Wrong. Ladarius Skelton keeping it on the read, making it 21 14. Later in the third, same score, Felix Harper. CJ Bolt. Bowling down into the end zone, 39 yards to the house. Game tied, 21 all. Then Bubba McDaniel, Marquise McClain from 19 yards out. They were throwing it all around the yard on Saturday. More bowler up top. Beautiful camera work by Jared Paul Joseph. Braves go for two. The game is tied, 35 minutes with one second left. That is not a college kicker situation. Freshman Luke Jackson, yes. Go celebrate, young fella, for 47 yards out. Southern beats Alcorn, 38-35. Southern just beat Alcorn for the first time since 2016. The Jaguars were in a back and forth affair with the Braves all night, but the Golden Blue were most confident when the ball left the freshman's foot. I knew we had a great operation, a great old line that blocks for me, and I knew I had a great holder and a great snapper, so I knew a guy was on my side, and it felt good off my foot, and I knew it was going in. He's been doing really well in practice, and uh, he was just waiting for his opportunity, and he finally got his opportunity, and, uh, and, it, and it came through. When it went up, it, you know, you can hear it off his foot, and, and, um, and it was right in the middle of the field. So, so before, I just said, kick it straight, Luke. Just kick it straight. Jackson can thank the Jaguars offense for his Kodak moment. Southern went 14 of 20 on third down, and quarterback Glenn McDaniel finished the game with more than 300 total yards of offense. I just was giving it my all, and I knew on them third downs, it was a big third down, we had to stay on the field, so I just had to make a play. What we put on the field last week is not the standard, and we all know that, so we just tried to build this weekend, know what's at stake, and we got to go to work. It was good to see sustained drives. It was good to see us stay on the field. Um, it was good to see us make plays whenever um, contested passes that we caught, um, running through tackles. Uh, so it was always good, just overall improvement. The main difference between Saturday's win and last weekend against Prairie View is the Jaguars did not turn the football over, giving the Golden Blue the chance to get the long-awaited win against the Braves. Covering Southern football for your Go Nation, I'm Jared Paul Joseph.